Hey, howdy, hey partners. Today we have the two-pack Alicia Hawthorne and Buzz Lightyear. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. And here we have another Alpha class that was just released. I found this at Target. It was actually a Disney store inside of a Target, which is a pop-up, which is cool. And that's how I was able to get this two-pack. It was a little expensive, $40 basically for two figures, basically $20 each. I mean, it is a little expensive. It's considering I only wanted the XL15 Buzz, Alicia Hawthorne, I'm not so interested in because number one, I don't really know the character yet because I haven't seen the movie. But also, I'm just really more interested in Buzz and Zerg because that reminds me of Toy Story. But nonetheless, I still think it's cool that we do get Alicia Hawthorne, and I'm sure once I watch the movie, I'll understand a little bit better. I believe she is the commander of Buzz, and that's what the trailer it looks like. But it does come with the fun accessories, and I really like this XL15 Buzz. It's just a shame. I wish they would have sold it individually, because I basically paid $40 for one figure, because this is the one I actually want. Here we have Buzz Lightyear in his XL15 suit. And it's really cool. He actually has the mission patches here on the side. I really appreciate the detail of. Looks really nice. I do like that detail. The front, we definitely have better detailing and painting with the light here on the chest. The 15 there looks really good. And I do like the Star Command logo here on the alternate side. It looks like with every edition of Buzz, that did change the logo, but it looks really cool. The back, we have incredible detail as well. Uh, really nice uh, painting as well with the 15 there and the different different paints on the back applications look really professional and really good. So Mattel kind of hit it out of the park with this. I think just like the back of the jetpack for the other Alpha Class Buzz, this one looks pretty impressive. So I am impressed with that. Head articulation is really great on this figure. It's better than the Ranger Alpha Suit Buzz because he can actually go 360, which is pretty nice. He can go up and down as well. And that looks actually really good. And then here on the chest plate, nothing is removable but uh, we do have the same articulation as the Ranger Alpha Buzz. We have, again, with the double elbow joints here. As you can see, there's two joints at the elbow. So that is really nice for articulation and movement. Really nice to arm swing out as well without any issues. Here you have awesome wrist articulation bending forward and back, just like the Ranger Alpha suit one, and really nice paint app details of the orange on the other side of the glove. He does have some cool uh, buttons here that are painted so that is true to XL15 Buzz which is nice same paint job on the glove which is nice Buzz like the other figure has crazy ab crunch as well that is pretty nice because you can definitely do a lot of dynamic posing and there's no issues with that same thing with the legs it's basically the same articulation as the Ranger Alpha suit for this figure including the double knee joint bend there so that is pretty cool. And you still have uh, actually 360 here on the ankle, which is a little better. It's actually better articulation than the Ranger Alpha suit. And you have up and down as well. So that's like a ball joint too. Very nice. I do like this a little better than the other figure. Seems like it's a little bit more articulated and his legs can go <laughs> pretty far back. And I guess like a skydive pose. And then his legs go forward without any issues about that far so pretty cool these alpha class figures are very articulated as promised and i'm very impressed with it buzz also came with a helmet accessory pretty cool it's like a mini version of the 12 inch figure that we got already and it, it looks basically the same it's just smaller scale for this seven inch buzz looks really good and he looks more like an astronaut now which is pretty cool i do like the helmet accessory and i do love that it's removable why couldn't they just give us a helmet with the Ranger Alpha suit? I'm just so confused. It's a pretty uh, awesome buzz, and I'm glad it came with more accessories. We also get this number three crystal, I think it goes with the Ivan. In the trailer, we see this Ivan kind of AI thing talking in his ship. So I believe this is something that he can carry with him, I guess, to help him. Maybe this helps him connect with Star Command, not sure. These are really nice accessories for Buzz. I really like them, and it's cool that they include them, and they painted them very well, and I really like the small details on them. Now we also got this cool like gun accessory, not sure if it shoots out lasers. I'm assuming this is like his laser blade, but 
it's more of a gun because it has like a electricity looking like it's going to shoot out there so that's pretty cool it's like a crazy gun but it's a cool accessory for buzz definitely never seen buzz lightyear with a gun before but i think it's more of a laser gun here we have buzz in a dynamic pose with ivan right in front of him with the crystal and his gun and the helmet accessory on i think it looks really cool very complete, iconic to the XL15 Buzz that we see in the trailer. And I can't wait to see him in this suit in the movie. I think it'll be really interesting to see why he's wearing the XL15 suit and how it develops in the future. But definitely looks very stylized to a specific period in time. And I think this movie has a lot of time jumping. That's the illusion that I get from the trailers and that I've seen because he keeps changing his suits and he goes to time portals. So it'll be very interesting to see. I don't really know, that's just my guess. But what do you think about this Alpha Class Series Buzz? I really like it. It was worth $40 for me to buy it because I think it's the only way you can buy it right now. Well, maybe that'll change in the future, but for now, I'm very happy with my purchase. I think it's a great buzz. He actually has a little better dynamic posing than the Ranger Alpha suit buzz, which I'm actually surprised about. It has slightly better articulation, in my opinion, just with the legs and the ankles, just a little bit more articulation and range of motion for the head movement as well. So this figure is really impressing me so far. For size comparison, we have 12 inch XL15 Buzz next to seven inch XL15 Buzz. And you can see that the details are just better here on the boots and the knee pads and also mid torso. Just overall, the details are more impressive on this tiny figure. And even though we do have the side mission patches on the 12 inch figure, you just, you can just tell overall it is better and it's just crazy that it's just such a small scale but I kind of like it. Here's a side view of 7 inch buzz and 12 inch buzz and as you can see this is why you get the alpha class is because you have painted details that the 12 inch figure definitely is lacking. Look at all the detail we have here versus all the detail we're missing on the back of the 12 inch buzz. So now you know why the alpha class is awesome because you do have way more paint app details which I wish they would do on the 12 inch figures but they just did not. What can I say about Alicia Hawthorne? In the words of Forky, I don't know because I don't know her character. So I'm gonna have to watch the movie. I think, I believe she is the commander of Star Command or in charge or a leader because she's kind of telling Buzz what to do. I noticed from the trailer, like she was the boss. And that is very interesting. And then I believe her granddaughter is Izzy Hawthorne, but we're gonna to have to watch the movie to really figure that out. Really beautiful head sculpt. I am very impressed with Mattel here. It looks very hyper-realistic to the animation. I believe this is the best head sculpt I've ever seen for a Mattel figure that actually looks like it jumped out of the screen. I think this head sculpt looks amazing and to be honest I'm a little sad that Buzz doesn't look more realistic to the movie but I really think from watching the movie stills from the trailer this looks really good and it looks like Alicia Hawthorne. I really love those military badges and the space wings here it says Hawthorne very good job. I'm very impressed with the painting details. A lot of striping too here on the side of the pants. So that is very nice too. On the collar, we have more paint and also on the cuffs. Very simple looking figure from the back. Nothing too crazy. That hair is pretty awesome. And I think it looks really, really good. Now let's check out the articulation. Articulation wise, uh, her head does rotate 360. Pretty nice. Can look up, can look down slightly kind of do a tilt. There's a ball joint, but there's limited range of motion there, but definitely looks cool. Looks like she can yell at Buzz being like, I know I didn't just see you do that, Buzz. I like that, it looks pretty cool. And then here on the arms, let's see what we got. We have the arms swinging out, no problems. They do rotate 360 here. We have double elbow joint again. So that's pretty nice for the alpha class. We're getting multiple joints here that flex and move, which is nice. Same thing here with the wrist goes forward, goes back, does rotate 360. So yeah, the Alpha class is the best for articulation so far, looks than any other figure. Nice ab crunch rotation. We do even have some side swivel here on the upper torso, which is new, and then also 360. This is a little bit better than Buzz because we have another ab crunch uh, right there that moves. That looks really good. And then here on the suit, it's kind of flexible. It just reveals more of the pants. Here as well, let's see if there's double, yep, there is double knee joint articulation there. Pretty nice, so that's pretty crazy posing. I mean, if you wanna pose your figures, this is the way to go. Double uh, joints here on the knees and on the elbow. Really, really nice, Mattel. 
Something else that's impressive is she has a upper thigh swivel here on the leg. So that rotates 360 as well. So that is really crazy to see that as well with the double jointed knee. That is insane articulation right there. That is something you're outdoing yourself on. We have really nice rocker ankles here, 360 motion as well. So yeah, and even another 360 swivel here right above the uh, boot here. So that looks really nice. Pretty great for dynamic posing. And she came with a couple accessories. Looks retro in 80s. It's supposed to be Andy Star Wars, so it's supposed to come out in the 80s, I think. And here it has a computer with a speaker and a, has a little display on there. It looks like crystals or something on there. It says 87%. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll have to watch the movie to see what that means. But it's a nice, neat accessory, and it's pretty cool. We also got this blade with a little trigger button, so it's like a little laser blade. Kind of looks like a vintage version of what maybe came out in the future Buzz uh, editions, but pretty cool nonetheless, and we'll have to watch the movie to figure out more what the significance of this laser blade is, but it's very cool. And here is Alicia Hawthorne in her dynamic pose with her computer and her laser blade. Really cool, really nice detailing. I think I'm most impressed with the articulation of this figure. The paint apps are spot on. Definitely amazing head sculpt. I think this looks more like any of the characters we've gotten in figure form so far. It's just a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I feel like they really went out of their way to make sure that this figure was going to look its best and it definitely looks its best. Super amazing and if I was going to have one Alicia Hawthorne figure in my collection, this would be it. I think you can't really top this action figure. It's everything you want in an action figure with the paint apps accessory articulation. Super cool with the double joints on the elbows and knees. It makes this figure a 10 out of 10 for me. Here we have Alicia Hawthorne and Buzz Lightyear in their dynamic poses with their accessories next to them and they look fantastic. I think if I was going to pick one action figure out of these lines to collect, the Alpha class is it. It's got loads of articulation, proper paint apps, you really can't ask for more, especially with the accessories that come in. It's about $20 a figure. I guess given the awesomeness of each figure, it's pretty fair. I know some high-end action figures that some companies charge hundreds of dollars for, so I'm grateful we don't have to pay those crazy prices. But for $40, yes, it's pricey. I would say only buy this if you're a really super fan of the movie. If you're a super fan of XL15 Buzz like I am, definitely had to pick it up no matter what. These are my favorite Mattel figures they've released yet for Lightyear. I really like them. And yeah, it's fun to have giant figures and smaller ones, but I think the seven inch scale is pretty cool. And if I was gonna collect more of the Alpha class, I definitely am considering it because these are really, really nice, especially for the price point. As always, partners, thank you so much for liking and commenting on these videos. It really helps support this channel. If you'd like to join me on my journey here on YouTube, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.